A clash between the old world and the new. This is what Bulgaria's largest industrial site looks like today. Four power plants are housed on this mammoth 240 square kilometers industrial site. On one side, there is the oldest power plant of the lot. On the other, there is the only one built after the fall of communism. As a facility that is less than 10 years old, it was conceived with emission control in mind. Cleaner coal, however, does not come cheap. The power plant was completed in 2011 and cost 1.3 billion euros. One of the three main systems is the flue gas desulfurization technology, which aims to recycle toxic sulfur dioxide emissions. Our efficiency that we sometimes achieve in regard to these emissions is 98 to 99 percent. So you can imagine how much sulfur dioxide we capture at our plant. The captured sulfur dioxide reacts with limestone to form industrial grade gypsum. Emissions of sulfur dioxide, a toxic gas that causes respiratory irritation and also produces acid rain, have been cut severely following Bulgaria's accession to the European Union in 2007. They have dropped from over 800 kilotons to about 100 per year. In 2019, however, the European Commission referred Bulgaria to the EU Court of Justice over the remaining sulfur dioxide emissions. Air quality in Bulgaria is also affected by other types of emissions, such as particulate matter. Experts warn that new European rules over the next few years will be near untenable for Bulgaria's aging coal power plants. Some of the newer facilities are less than 20 years old. The other power plants are 50, 60, 70 years old. They're nearing the end of their service life. There's also greenhouse gas emissions, which are only slightly decreasing because we are consuming less electricity. Over the past years, the older power plants have been pressured by the ever-increasing price of the cap-and-trade system within the EU. Prices spiked from 5 to 25 euros per tonne in 2018. And this has put the publicly owned Maritza Istok 2 power plant on its knees. It now has hundreds of millions of euros of debt while producing expensive electricity that is becoming hard to sell. The Maritza Istok 2 power plant is massive in size and in the winter it can produce up to half of all the electricity in Bulgaria. That is also the reason why closing it down or even modernizing it has been a very sensitive subject. According to the labor unions, more than 100,000 people are economically dependent on the power plant. The Ministry of Energy is now seeking to prolong its life at least until 2050. David Vodenicharov for Euronews.